let's let's take a quick let's introduction to problem, problem B. B. And that's uh, <laughs> Michael, Michael Levin. Levin again. Yeah, so uh, this is a problem that, uh, that that has an interesting story because uh, the jury considers it one of the medium problems, not one of the hardest. But as we see from the standings, it turned out to be one of the hardest problems in the round. So the problem goes as this. Uh, there is a player and a casino. And uh, uh, he plays a simple betting game where he bets one dollar. And with probability P, he uh, wins one more dollar. And with probability one minus P, he loses and he loses his bet, basically. Uh, and uh, he can play this game uh, as long as he wants, but uh, one, uh, he has one advantage. Uh, if at the moment when he stops he has won some money, for example A dollars, then he takes all A and he has won this. And uh, if he loses some money, for example if he loses B dollars, then he doesn't have to give B dollars to the, to the casino. He has a discount of X percent. So he will give out not B, but B multiplied by 100 minus X divided by 100. So uh, the question in the problem is, uh, what is the expected surplus that a uh, player can get in case he takes an optimal strategy? So uh, to solve this problem, uh, you have to make uh, uh, several observations. First observation is that uh, the only uh, thing that your strategy may depend on is the current amount of money that you have. So you at each point you decide to either continue the game or to stop. And uh, if you think a little bit more, then you can uh, understand that uh, uh, there are only two parameters that uh, determine the strategy. It's some positive number A that uh, makes you to stop if you have already won A dollars. And it's some negative number B that uh, makes you stop if you have lost. So when you uh, determine those parameters, you can uniquely determine uh, what will be the expected profit of this strategy. It can be done using a system of uh, linear equations, which can be uh, made and solved basically by hand. Uh, I won't write it the details here, uh, but it is a, a more or less known problem of uh, find the probability that you win at least A dollars before you at any point lose more than B. Uh, if you solve that sub-problem, then you know the output of any strategy. And uh, then you could uh, make a brute force through all possible strategies if it wasn't uh, an, an infinite set, because you can make A and B as much uh, as big as you want. But uh, if you experiment with the constraints of this problem, it turns out that uh, P and X are determined up to uh, two digits after the decimal point. So there's actually only a finite number of inputs for this problem. And you can guess that the worst case where A and B should be the maximum possible are when X is close to 100 and P is close to 1 half. And if you take the extremum case where P is something like like that and X is something like that, then uh, uh, you can uh, find out on your computer by experimenting that A and B should be no more than something around 20,000. And uh, if A and B are uh, around 20,000, then the brute force up to 20,000 on both values uh, will go into time limit. So the difficulty for the teams was that they, they should have some courage and some time, some free time at the computer to experiment with this problem to determine that 20,000 is actually sufficient. And if they do that, then the solution is pretty straightforward for top teams at least. So I suppose the teams just didn't have uh, enough time free at the computer or they were doing some other problems that probably were much more complicated uh, than this one, like G, but uh, they just believed that they can implement the hard solution for G and they didn't know how to solve this problem in general case without experimentation. Okay, thank you. So uh, I'm a little bit surprised that you're saying that this was expected to be in 
easy problem. Well, do you remember who right. gave us the analysis told us that this is supposed to be a medium problem, so. Right, 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 because I mean, this and G seems to be the deciders. 